hammer for the frost wolves. Come on, two drop. It's about to be the same opening as the last game. It actually looks very similar to the last game. I could have considered Silent Knight since Lightning Bolt doesn't work, but I don't think I should play around one specific card like that. Just because he has a specific totem. Whoa! So he's gonna have two mana next turn. If I play the Silent Knight, this will in theory beat, but two of the totems will wreck me. I wonder. If I play this, only Taunt Totem wrecks me. And then I have Fen Creeper still. And then I have Fire Elemental after if nothing works out. I'm not gonna attack. Well, you could go there, and then I have some serious RNG. Hmm, this is all pretty interesting. Alright, I'll let this guy eat my Yeti and my Creeper, I guess. Never mind. That's pretty lucky. I go Frost Elemental instead. The problem with this play is I give the board over to him on an empty board. This play freezes something reasonable, has a decent follow up. Alright. And without the weapon, the Argent Commander doesn't fear much. Can at least trade with one of these fellas. Fellas. Fire Ali, Fairy Dragon next. In this game, I'm actually ahead on cards. Eh, maybe Totem instead of Fairy Dragon. And Spooty Bay Bodyguard bullies Fairy Dragon. Meanie. Huge toad for the RNG. Hmm. Ooh, face with that guy. Kinda daring. I can afford to take 10. 5 2 2? 5 2 2. Five four, not very good against three six. Power Toto. All right, if spell damage totem, then that's good. If not spell damage totem, then that's still okay. Looks like I'm doing two, four, eight. No, I shouldn't even try rolling, because then I can play all of these. Uh, Maelstrom and the Dark Iron Dwarf there into kill kill. Yep. Nice. And that's why you don't always totem first. You have to plan out your turn.
Well, basically you have to check whether or not you would use your mana. Otherwise, that was a big tempo turn. An autograph? Hmm, I suppose. Autograph? I suppose. Best chance was probably hitting me in the face twice. I don't know if he had um, three damage, right? Two four seven two four. Threaten lethal, maybe something. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. A strong Anoyatron there. My choice to either play a 4 4 or to play basically nothing. That's a bummer draw. Eh, actually, Maelstrom Portal isn't that bad. That egg is pretty good, actually. 2 1 would have also been good. So many possibilities. It's kind of like the portal took out the Anoyatron there. It's time for and also gave me an egg. That's what I call Valley. Now you're thinking with eggs. So I can become a 4-3 after I send the egg at it. Maybe Coin Fen Creeper is better? Next turn I might go off curve by Dark Iron Dwarfing the egg, but that should be okay. Okay, I've got a good 6 drop into a 7 drop into an 8 drop. Freezing a 1-1 one, one actually ends up being pretty good here. So that it can't trade into the 4-1. Oh. Hmm. I thought I was gonna play that five drop, but instead, let's well, taunt the big dumb worm there. Actually, I should have pressed the totem button first. Might have gotten a taunt totem and didn't have to play that card. All right, saved. Although getting two totems of taunt would also be good, or two things of taunt, since then I can play the force tank max next turn maybe and then still have a taunt that he didn't really want to kill. Look at this unexpected Blood Knight value, since this is gonna die anyway. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, but that's in the way. Hmm. Glory to the Sindora. It's good corruption. Nucleus Champion, hopefully gonna sweep things up here. Sweep, sweep, sweep.
One one matters because uh, one plus two equals three. Oh no, it's a hellfire! We do have a uh, lightning bolt and rock biter to deal two in this deck, and fire elemental and Arjun commander. Is flame Ruth good enough here? Hmm, ancestral spirit. I have a lot of good cards here. No wish inventor is the best draw, and then into the card I need. Tap. Nope. Ah, going from the valley. That makes sense. Oh, that's card. Oh, I can't do six drop because of overload. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Any of these cards are lethal, so taunting the 1-1 one -one is great. He needs to clear everything, but he can only clear one of the things, currently. Yeah, I hear you on taunting the 2-4, that means the 3-3 three, three can't kill it. But at the same time, every single 2 drop, or uh, every single 2 attack I have is like dealing 30 damage, basically. Wow! The value. When you played this card, I was like, alright, he's about to concede, but okay! None of the cards in his deck are weak. My deck has no weak cards. That's weird. I'm thinking about mulliganing Rockbiter weapon. I mean, I'm first. I would usually have done this without thinking about it. But now that I think about it, it's really good to Rockbiter a 2-drop. But I need a 2-drop before that's even a good play. It's tough. Hmm, rest in peace this hand. Because you fool, this game is won by playing on a curve, and if you play Rock Fighter, it's played on turn two. Hmm, got my two drop into a three drop. Maybe I Ancestral Spirit the, uh, Silent Knight. Because you fool. This game is played on a curve. That result was alright. Things are going well. Playing on curve has led to great success.
Come on, healing totem. Yeah, I somehow think this is a better play than uh, playing this and this. Because I value the battle cry on this quite highly. On the bright side, I get to use the battle cry on this. On the downside, that's pretty good for it. Oh well, take that. That's incredible. Damage? Yeah! Two plus four. Yeah, Maelstrom Portal has been a lot better than I've expected. It's probably because you can just get the uh, spell damage out of whenever you want to. <laughs> incentivized to do that. Otherwise the 2-2 two -two will get it. So it looks like it's gonna be a top deck war. I have a slight advantage on the board and my deck should be bigger than his is. He does get the first draw and play. It's not very good. You're in trouble now. I don't think I can play that. We'll see. Can I play it? No? He took out the spell damage totem rather than the healing totem when he knew that I would heal this. That's weird. Maybe because of Vaporize? Do I play around Mirror Entity? If it's Force Tank, if it's Mirror Entity, the one one of the few ways I can lose is by playing Force Tank Max, I guess no. But there's also a big, uh, big picture idea of why did he kill the spell damage totem over the healing totem there. Probably get to find out with this attack. No, I don't get to find out. Probably because it's a. Uh... Mirror entity after all. Frost has frozen water. Brilliant. Going for the value. Yeah, I'll go for the value also. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. The value. Dar Lord on my side. Legion's out!
Foolish mortal, your flame strike only tickles the air at our lord of the burning legion. Set up a uh, next turn lethal, but I won't. That battle cry too good. Too powerful for you. Well played. <laughs> That last game, Ancestral Spirit on Silent Night turned out to be very strong. is a good card, but... Silence. It's still a good card. Kill a, uh, zero two totem with it. Yeah, still good. Would have been even better if you got a normal totem. But at least it wasn't a ridiculous totem. To four mana seven seven. That's ridiculous. Okay, well at least the four mana seven seven can go into this taunt thingy. No answer is pretty tough. Oh this is kind of an answer. One eight survives the seven seven. Cards are not very good against a 7-7, but Mukla's champion is going to be pretty good. It's a full house in here. Tournament Lemetic lives on forever. Uh, Valdir Raider Hero Pack, or is the Force Tank Max better? One mana card is better. That is the rule of Arena. 
Although I could have baited it out with this, but one could say I baited out the other card with that card. Should I put the Ancestral Spirit on? Probably not yet. value. All the work it's done, and finally now, you shall evolve to your final form. Wow. That's pretty good. You would have used Tex if you had one. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this on here. Seven seven. Mm, nah. You still need a curve leading into the four mana seven seven. Four mana one eight is a lot less impressive. Silent Knight for once. I was just gonna play Silent Knight. Uh, this one, I guess. The Mush and Venner might be good enough. It can test the juggler and is only one health less. The goal is just to play something that kills Juggler, and this only has one health less than Yeti, so might as well. Good job, Inventor. I haven't had the play from behind very often in these series yet, but I do have some from behind cards. Maelstrom, Portal, Lightning Storm, Bomb Lobber, X, Lightning Bolt, Rockbiter. These are all tempo cards I can play while behind. Some of them can even be played while ahead. Flame Wreath, Faceless, Ancestral, and then be super sad to sap. Probably Totem instead. So if I do that the next turn I have 5 mana, I'll play a 4 drop. If I do this I'll have 7 mana, I'll still probably play a 4 drop. This guy has 10 wins with the Frigid Snowbolt's Shadow Strike combo. Sinister Strike rather. Incredible. I have to imagine if he had Sap, he'd have played it there, so Ancestral Spirit should be good to go. However, I'm highly encouraged to go 4 drop here. Because this game is played on a curve. Ooh, double hero power. Value? Okay. 
There's just still so many cards to put Ancestral Spirit on. There's no real rush to play it on anything. Ancestral Spirit on this is my mega awesome target. And this tournament medic actually uh, can make sure I stabilize. Not that I'm in need of stabilizing at the moment. A daring attack. Mm, that tempo. I usually work alone. Mm ha! No ancestral spirit on the tank. Hmm. One damage off lethal, but that's a dangerous place to be sometimes. He could clear the board on me. It would be tough for him to win from there, but it's more secure to win slowly. To win slower. That fairy dragon should have been here. Shouldn't get punished for that. Eh, I'll get punished sometimes. With the betrayal. Take your medicine. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Ancestral spirit this, charge there. Charge more stuff. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Too, is value. That was like uh, almost Mega Wind Fury. Wait, no, it was just Wind Fury. Kind of. Yeah, let's see what's in the box. Lethal? It's pretty good. If he vanishes, then I get to play Dr. Boom. The Frost Wolf stands ready. Oh, he missed the staff on Dr. Boom meme. Okay, I'll wand. Fine, I'll wand. Fine, I'll wand. I'll keep the lightning bolt since I actually have a curve. Now I don't have a curve to lightning bolt since I'm gonna coin it at two. Also, lightning bolt is a dangerous card to curve with. Well, it means on three I can go lightning bolt hero power, I guess. And then I can play three drop after that. That too is a curve. Start with the fairy. Oh, same guy. Well, that's despair for him. Maybe. Or maybe he's happy to get me again. This deck... That was the Cobalt Sinister Strike deck. That wasn't actually too strong a deck. Well, he had two notably bad cards. And I didn't remember anything insane. There's just like a Shadow Strike. No. Yeah, I should have done Tidehunter Lightning Bolt there. That was a good card, the Lightning Bolt. Would have saved my Fairy Dragon. Played this while he doesn't have a dagger out is also good. And then it curves into uh, Razor Fen Hunter. This is not that much of a worse play, though. Since this is also good to play while he doesn't have a dagger out. And that is also good Lightning Bolt. And I actually drew a 3 drop, so always lucky, I guess.
And I have a 4 drop to play after getting overloaded. Thanks, Mana Curve. It basically turned out to be about the same, but I luckily drew an Ogre Brute, which let me curve. But it wouldn't have been that bad to play Yeti that turn. I'm sure that trade is a good idea for him, considering that I can't actually control my guy. But he probably wasn't intending to dagger up this turn. I would have traded, so he could have gotten 3 damage in on me. But I could have had like a rock biter to kill him, so he needed to kill my guy while his guy was on the board. There's always pros and cons to quite a few of these moves. This is a good Dark Iron Dwarf. Mm, he did weapon up. Mm, unfortunate weapon. I want to frost elemental his face. Yeah, and then he won't. He possibly won't have enough time to uh, get his thing. Also, double chance at getting a. Silent. Taunt totem. I didn't want my uh, Mookless champion to just die to the blade, but maybe after he takes 8 damage. He can't really afford to take 4 damage on the champion. Maybe. No taunt. Still looking awfully good for me though. My burst remaining is only Argent Commander and Fire Elemental. But he's used his heal of Cult Apothecary. I don't think he had any taunt in that deck other than the uh, Enhanced Mechanic. Looks like I'll be able to set him. Uh, into range of getting three damage. Oh, the greed. Yeah, that, that puts him in range of three damage, which is fire elemental. And the 9 1 basically only kills a 2 3 as a benefit over something else. Or the 1-8, but the 1-8 doesn't really matter that much. It's like, oh, I could I could send the 1-3 into the 9-1, but face. Alright! 12 wins again! I'm on a roll! If you completely ignore the other run, which will not be shown, pretend it didn't happen because it didn't. 